in order to install a strain gauge we need different materials and stuff we need a degreaser like acetone or CSM degreaser we used acetone we also need different types of abrading paper or sandpaper we need the 400 320 and 220 sandpapers this is M prep conditioner A which is a water based phosphoric acid we also have M prep neutral neutralizer 5A 200 catalyst C M bond 200 adhesive we also need cotton swaps scotch tape and also Kim wipes. Strain gauges can be installed on an FRP bar, on steel or concrete, but before installing the surface should be flattened. It can be done by means of hand grinder or by a file or anything that you can remove any dust or corroded area off the surface. The surface should be prepared for the installation. You might need to grind it using a hand grinder or using a pneumatic sandpaper grinder. You can prepare the surface. If it is a steel surface, you can grind it up to getting, getting a quite flat surface. You see here a pneumatic sandpaper grinder. Okay, you can start now. After grinding the surface, you have to decrease the gauging area with a solvent so like acetone. You use enough amount of acetone to remove all the grease from the surface. Okay, now it has been done before so we are just here showing it then you remove all the remained material on the surface by the king wipe nothing should be should remove on the surface because it might leave a film that can make make the string gauge apart from the surface after that we do a preliminary dry abrading with 220 or 320 grit silicon carbide abrading paper. So this is a 220 abrading paper. We do the abrading completely. This is done in dry situation. After that we do this second one which is 320 almost finer than the first one so so far it has been dry abrading after this we use the M prep conditioner no no it has it has the tip okay okay that is also fine then uh, we apply some of the M prep conditioner A which is a sort of acid and we do the wet no, wet wet abrading with the third one which is a quite soft abrading paper paper it is 400 and it is a 400 grid silicon carbide paper So after the surface is prepared, every liquid and particle remain should be removed off the surface by means of Kim wipes or sponge gauze. Don't forget to, to
to move it just one side, not back and forth, unless you will have something remain on the surface. Uh, now apply uh, enough amount of M-Prep neutralizer 5A and scrub with a cotton tip applicator like that and um, this will this is a, a, a neutralizer alkaline uh, stuff to remove the acid that has remained on the surface after that remove all of uh, the neutralizer rem remained using the sponge or kim wipes do it only one way don't go back and forth and remain all the contaminations and read this process all right thank you at this point remove the strain gauge out of the transparent envelope using a tree, uh, tweezers using tweezers be very careful about that uh, one point to mention here is to make sure which side is the bonding surface the side that has no basically no wires or no metal things on is the bonding surface so you put this the is, this is bonding surface yeah this yeah. is the bonding surface and the other yeah, side with the rectangular and triangle this is yeah the upper side the oh, one okay. with triangles is the upper side so put the string gauge on a on a clean surface of metal or plastic uh, film we have a plastic film one here and put the bonding side down then apply a, a scotch tape on it and make sure to put the, the string gauge in the center of the string of the uh, scotch tape okay. at this time carefully lift the tape at a shallow angle like less than 45 degrees because the strain gauge shouldn't get bent too much so remove the strain gauge and the tape assembly and put it on the surface it, it is going to be sticked on so remove the strain gauge Now position the gauge tape assembly and of course you have to have positioned the point you wanted to your string gauge to be to be basically installed on. Okay. 